Well, hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good wherever it is, wherever you're at. I've got a big update today for the Kickstarter campaign for Turmoil, Turmoil 2022 for the Mattel Aquarius. As you can see on the screen right now, we've got a logo for the games. Sean, one of our generous backers, asked if I wanted him to design something for him, and I said, sure, and he did it. I don't know if you recognize the running man. Some people say, kind of rings a bell, but they don't get it. The running man is the logo from Millie Vanilli. Yes, that really great pop group from the 80s who lip synced their songs. I happen to love their songs, and as you know, I go by the name Millie, so ergo, running man. We've got a couple of big things going on in this update today. One thing is, Turmoil is basically done. The only thing I need to do now is I have to fine tune the sound. I have two different sound systems going. I have one that uses the internal sound if you select keyboard to play. Oh, and that's the other update too, is you can now select keyboard or controller. But if you select keyboard to play, then it uses the internal one channel sound. If you select hand controller, it'll use the AY sound chip. I'm still playing with the sounds. I want to fine tune them to make them sound better. But I'm very happy with where it's going. Other than me fine tuning the sounds, Turmoil is done. It has all the levels in it. It has all the collision detection, all the movements, all the speed that I wanted. Everything that I wanted to get out of Turmoil is in it. So now, we need to discuss the stretch goal. If you're not aware what a stretch goal is, a stretch goal is usually once you've reached your goals, if you want to go for a little farther, you want to see how much farther you can raise on a campaign, sometimes you'll put in a stretch goal. It depends on the Kickstarter campaign as to what the stretch goal would be. And I thought about this, and I thought probably the best stretch goal we could do is include a second game. That's right, a second game for all Kickstarter backers. But that won't be a second game that's separate. It'll be a second game that's internal. That's part of Turmoil. Yeah, so once you press the letter F for Flappy Bird, it'll load up for you. First off, you gotta select where you want, keyboard or hand controller. Since there is only one button, it doesn't really matter. You're just pressing one button. And there you go. Now you have Flappy Bird flying through. Very nice smooth scrolling graphics. Occasionally we get a little black line. I think it's the emulator. I haven't seen it on the actual hardware itself. As you see, I'm going to add sounds to this so that it makes sounds. See, I got me a metal. You can get five metals. There's difficulties in it and it gets harder as you go along. And Flappy Bird for the Mattel Aquarius. And how this is going to work, how the stretch goal is going to work, if we can reach, right now we're at approximately 1500 if we can reach 2500 which I do believe we could, if we can reach $2,500, everyone who backed the game at the cartridge level, everyone who backs the game at, a car at the cartridge level will receive a cartridge that has Turmoil 2022 on it. But also, what will be different is it will say, thank you for backing the campaign. And it will give you the option of what game do you want to play, Terminal 2022 or Flappy Bird. So you'll have both games and a very unique cartridge for backing the campaign. Now those who don't want to back it right now and who want to buy the game later on in the store, they always can. But later on in the store, once this goes in the store, you're going to have Terminal 2022 as one cartridge or one cassette. And you'll have Flappy Bird as another cartridge and another cassette. It won't be the dual cartridge system. That is going to be for the backers only. That's a very unique and special one just for the backers. There won't be any combo carts in the store later on. So there you go. That's our stretch goal. We're going to include two games. If we can reach the $2,500 limit. And oh, also, and just so you know too. I have coming in, I believe it's tomorrow because I didn't get a notice today, I have a hundred cartridges coming in 
that I purchased that we will be making all these cartridges on. I have the sample box on its way to me and I'll be designing up the labels and getting them printed next week. So things are going along really good. I'm very excited about working on the Aquarius. It should have a bigger following than it does and maybe some more people will buy one and use them. But I'm kind of excited with it. The community is really nice. Yes, it's not as big as the ColecoVision community. It's nowhere near as big as the others, the Commodore 64 and stuff. But it's nice, and I'm enjoying it. So thank you, everybody, for backing the Kickstarter campaign. And if you haven't backed it, now's a good time to start. Have a great day.